coming up next. It's a UFC featherweight division fight. Right in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. McGregor is 26. Magomed Sharipov is 29. He is four inches taller. McGregor will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Zambit Magomed Sharipov! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! Okay, you take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. You ready? ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, going back to that counter kick. Not there. Nice one-two there. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Single collar tie now. Left hand punch the clinch. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. He's having his way with him here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, side control now. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fight. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, nice. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. to avoid the punch by McGregor. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landing for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice! Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous The sheer position. will is, is really remarkable to watch. Oh, right in the mouth. Forty. 
45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Round two next. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Nice straight right lands. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and there's that patented McGregor left hand. They got to bronze that left hand and put in the Hall of Fame or something. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's going to throw that punch. So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29 total strikes. Oh, so see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up to him. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it, he's defended it before it's even gotten started. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Out of nowhere, it's flashy but effective. Imanari roll into a potential heel hook here. This could get interesting. Oh! You control him. And he's out. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> and he landed the right hand there. McGregor's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet now. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay stand and show and talk to your toughness. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. He got a bad! Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Ten seconds to go. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. hip into that leg kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. 
Nice job by Conor McGregor navigating distance here, and he's done a pretty good job overall, DC, navigating his celebrity. He can't go anywhere in his native Ireland without getting stopped by somebody, but he has... Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Woo! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent only saw it coming and before he could recover the referee was in to stop the fight so a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight all right we'll take a look back at the highlights you know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip just an incredible result for him here tonight a very nice head kick to finish the fight but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent the opponent was in there every step of the way and in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 38 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight he got...